The cost of borrowing is coming down. For the first time since the 2008 financial crisis, the Federal Reserve cut interest rates. The central bank lowered the benchmark federal funds rate by a quarter percentage point just yesterday. The decision could make it easier for consumers to borrow money on everything from credit cards to car loans. CBS News business analyst Jill Schlesinger is here with a look at the Fed's decision and what it means for your wallet. I'm a little confused because the economy is supposed to be doing well, and yet we have the Federal Reserve cutting in interest rates. Why? Well, the Fed says that global growth is starting to impact U.S. growth. Things are slowing down. So you're right. Even the central bankers are saying things are good. They're not great. They're concerned about that deceleration. And one of the things they noted as a rationale for cutting rates, the trade uncertainties, which is really crimping growth. I think that's a big issue. And finally, they're worried that prices are not rising fast enough. It may be seem, seem a little bit weird to imagine this. The Fed wants a little bit of inflation, but not too much inflation. And the reason is they want people to get wage increases and to spend more money in the economy. That was their joint rationale. How does this affect consumers? That's the best question, because, <laughs> you know, really, we only care about the Federal Reserve as it pertains to our Us, lives. And right? weirdly, don't gloss over. The Fed controls almost everything we do. So let's say you're a saver. You've got a bunch of money in the bank. You're not happy. Fed cuts rates. You're going to earn a little less interest. Hmm. Conversely, if you are a borrower, you're starting to dance a little jig. You say, wait, <laughs> I know my credit card balance. I want to whittle it down. It is expensive to carry credit card balances. It'll get a little less expensive. What about mortgages, student loan debt, Jill? So mortgages key off of a different rate. It's a longer term rate. But the good news there is that long Long-term mortgage rates are at three-year lows. And when you think about student loans, probably not a lot of help there. Student loan rates for the federal program are set once a year. They were just set early in July. They're down a little bit, but they're not going to move. And so those are in stone. If you have a private student loan and it's a variable loan, you may see some relief. But here's what everyone's afraid of. Does this mean that there are signs a recession is on the horizon? That's not what the Federal Reserve is saying. And I don't speak to economists who say an imminent recession is upon us. What they are saying is this slowdown is happening. The Fed wants to get ahead of it. That's the reason why they're cutting rates today. Whether or not we see a recession anytime soon is anyone's guess. Anyone's guess. You heard it from Jill Sessinger. That's right. I'm not going on the record with that one. Not gonna make it. It and you won't be taking it. <laughs> <laughs> Jill, thank you.